Brendan, as, as VM was pointing out to me, it is the perfect anti-Valentine's um, animal. That spider, of course, eats its mate. It is a young female golden orb web spider waiting for its Valentine's meal, which will be provided by the romantically inclined male golden orb web spider by his... ...celebrate the 14th of December, at least February. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, so that's the golden orb web spider. Can't find the male. Let me just walk around this way. Because there's another spider there, Vumpy. No, no, you can stay that side. Over here, where my shtick is pointing, is what I think is a tiny bark spider just in there. And it is eating a meal and unfortunately I can't see exactly what the meal is but I was rather hoping that every single fly that is currently biting me on my leg would be trapped inside this web and then devoured. There it is moving now. Oh, let's try and feed it one of the disgusting flies that's eating me. That would be great. Hmm. Umka, you're asking a very interesting and complicated question. Let me just get it right. I'm going to repeat it. You want to know if there are any species where the male and female have different camouflage strategies. And the answer is absolutely yes. Maybe not camouflage, but the, well, I'm sure there are camouflage strategies. But certainly, um, the most obvious example of that is the... Uh, I've lost my mind, is the common diadem. That's it, the common diadem. The female is very much mimics the poisonous monarch butterfly. It looks almost exactly like a monarch butterfly. The male looks totally different. It doesn't bother with that aposomatic coloration. So it doesn't bother to look poisonous because it's not as important, of course, to the mating um, or the mating strategy. So often what you will find, Umka, is that females are much more camouflaged than their male counterparts. That certainly happens in many bird species because they are more important to the raising of the youngsters. And so while the males are preening about the place showing off, what happens is the females are hiding and looking after the babies and uh, sort of incubating the eggs. Now that sounds very familiar, doesn't it, Viam? I think our own species is quite similar to that, although, of course, camouflage has not to do with it. I'm trying to think of any other obvious um, examples, but it's a really nice question. Um, in the insect world, um, I can't think of any offhand. Lots and lots of birds. I suppose the, I mean, the, the monarch butterfly, at least the diadem butterfly, is a very good example. Anyala. Uh, yeah, I mean, Yala are sexually dimorphic. Is it a different camouflage strategy? I suppose it probably is, you know. I mean, a male in Yala has got a lot more white on it, so it's a lot less camouflaged. So I guess the answer would be that males are often much less camouflaged than females because they're not nearly as important to the raising of the next generation. Let's come around that way, Vumpi, and let 